In this project, we'll show you how you can build a mini replica of an iconic computer from the 1970s. This project uses an Adafruit Feather M0 and LED matrix to make a retro-inspired computer that resembles the Commodore PET. It's a neat little DIY project that's fun to build and makes a really cool gift. You can use the Adafruit GFX library to easily display text and even draw shapes to make custom graphics. Download and modify the Arduino sketch, you can find the link in the description of this video. To build the enclosure, you can 3D print the files yourself or have a service like 3dhubs.com print them for you. We 3D printed the parts on a Sigma 3D printer from BCN3D. There's a total of 10 parts and only costs less than a dollar in material to 3D print. You can get the full list of parts in the tutorial for this project linked below. We'll start by installing two headers into the pins on the LED matrix, then install the LED driver on top. We'll need to solder the headers to make a solid connection. Once we finish this side, we'll flip it over and solder the header pins to the LED driver. And now we have our little LED matrix package. Here's a pro tip, place the tip of your finger over the excess pins while clipping them short to avoid projectiles. Next we'll need two pieces of wire to connect the side switch so we can power the circuit on and off. We'll only need two leads from the slide switch. Then we'll tin the leads and connect the two wires. Now we can solder the two wires from the slide switch to the enable and ground pins on the Adafruit Feather. We can plug in a battery to test out the slide switch. When the enable pin is tied to ground, the circuit will power off. Next, we'll need four pieces of wire to connect the LED matrix and driver to the Adafruit Feather. Strip and tin the tips of each wire and solder them to the four pins on the side of the LED driver. And with the wire soldered to the driver, we can then connect the LED matrix to the Adafruit Feather. The four connections will go to serial data, serial clock, voltage, and ground. Now we can do a final test of the circuit. Be sure to check out the full tutorial for this project to get the circuit diagram and step-by-step -step instructions. Onto the assembly, we can start by installing the faceplate into the display frame. A dab of superglue can permanently bond the keypad to the keyboard cover. Then attach the keyboard cover to the frame of the enclosure. We'll do the same for the base of the display. Tap the two mounting holes on the Adafruit Feather and mount the PCB to the two standoffs on the bottom of the enclosure cover. We'll need to insert the LED matrix and slide switch through the bottom of the frame. Now we can place the battery into the enclosure and fit the wire through the arc. Lay the bottom cover over the enclosure frame and secure them together using machine screws. The LED matrix mounts to the display cover by press fitting them together. Then we can install the cover to the frame of the display. Insert the slide switch into the holder of the enclosure back cover. The display frame has two keys that fit into the slots of the display frame. The back cover with the slide switch can then fit into the back of the enclosure. Lastly, we can print the label on sticker paper and crop it out. This is totally optional, but it really adds those final details to the project. And there you have it, a retro-inspired mini Commodore pet. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to thumb up this video if you like this project and don't forget to subscribe for even more projects from Adafruit.